Can you answer these multiple choice questions about molecules? Each question is going to have a diagram and five answers. Question one's kind of easy. What's the chemical formula of this molecule? For all of these questions, pause if you're going to need more time. And the answer here is A. To calculate the chemical formula of a molecule, all you have to do is count the number of atoms that are represented in that molecule. For instance, there's one carbon atom, one oxygen, two nitrogens, and four hydrogens. Question two is a little bit more difficult. Which atom is missing a lone pair in the following structure? So again, we have our molecule here. How many of the atoms here are missing a lone pair of electrons? Remember that atoms need to fill their octet role. Pause if you need more time. The answer here is E. Both sulfur and nitrogen need another lone pair. To fill the octet rule, both sulfur and nitrogen are going to have to have another pair of lone electrons. This is because, for example, like sulfur here only has six, two for each of the bonds here and then two from this lone pair. It needs eight, so it's missing a pair of electrons. Same here with nitrogen, where there's only three covalent bonds that represent six electrons, it, that means the nitrogen needs another lone pair of electrons. And last question is kind of easy. The molecule above is C2H6. Which type of bond would occur between the two carbon atoms of the structure above? So again, that question marks representing some type of bond. What is it? In this case, there is a single bond between the carbon atoms. To fill the octet rule again, each of the carbon atoms are going to need eight electrons. Each of those bonds represents two electrons being shared. So there couldn't be more than a single bond between the carbon atoms.